Patrick Roberts should be a Manchester City player next season. There, I've said it. It's something I've been meaning to say for a while. Something I've been meaning to get off my chest. And someone's got to say it. The young wizard, the young English Messi, for want of a better phrase. He should be a Manchester City player next season. In this video, I'm going to explain exactly why I think... I'm going to go through all the reasons why I think he could offer something next season. I'm going to go through what I think he's learned on loan at Celtic. And I'm going to go first... I'm going to start with all the criticisms and all the naysayers. And trust me, there is plenty. And mainly, the fact that apparently the Scottish League is a pub league. <laughs> I mean, we all know the Scottish League isn't the best league in the world. But there is some quality there. But this video isn't about debating that. Yes, it is an inferior league to the Premier League. Sorry to any Celtic fans who watch this. I know a few actually do after some of the vlogs I did there. But it, it isn't at the Premier League level. It isn't at that standard. Let's just draw that line in the sand now. Good league with some good young players and uh, definitely has its worthwhile value. And Celtic are known to raise their levels against big teams. Great team. But it isn't Premier League level. But is that necessarily a bad thing? That's the thing I want to discuss. You've got to consider the fact that you can't just rule out every single play just because they play in the SPL. Look at uh, Virgil van Dijk or Victor Wanyama, two players that would probably step into our team at the moment pretty comfortably. They both started off life at Celtic and they're both strolling around the Premiership being absolutely top class and players that look worth several times the value that they came to the Premier League from. Look at the Bailey as well at Celtic, another player that is doing very well there. Yes, I'm not going to pretend it is the highest quality league, but you can't simply rule out every player just because they play in an inferior league. Otherwise, why even send him on loan to a league for 18 months and use that against him? Why would City send him to Celtic and turn around and say, yeah, but you're only a Celtic? That wouldn't just make any sense. It wouldn't be fair on the lad. It wouldn't mean anything. Uh, but there are very many reasons why you'd go to Celtic and go into that in a minute. But just to rule out a loan to Celtic would be unfair on a young player. And also the whole Scott Sinclair thing. People saying, look, Scott Sinclair is winning play the season over there. I'm not going to pretend Scott Sinclair is a great player. I think it's worth having a little bit of kind of uh, reason with this and saying that he did before Manchester City. Anyway, he did seem to be a decent player. He was a mid-table kind of Premier League player. A kind of a good player for someone like Swansea. Then obviously we got him, never played him. And then obviously any player with that level of ability, he went down and he became very average, lost all confidence. And now he's just an average player. And he does very well in Scotland, giving his pace, giving his, found his confidence again. But yeah, he's winning player of the season potentially over in Scotland. If he's not already won it, someone correct me on that if it hasn't. Uh, but then, once again, Van Dijk didn't. Van Yama didn't. These players didn't win that uh, accolade over in Scotland. And just because another player has won something ahead of someone doesn't therefore mean you can judge them ahead of it. Kyle Walker once won the Young Player of the Year ahead of Sergio Aguero. Sort that one out. David Silva, Aguero, these people have never been re uh, recommended anything, any awards ever. These don't get called because they haven't won it. And Scott Parker's won the PFA Players Right of the Year before, do they? No, that's obviously nonsense. You can't judge a league by the player that is the most popular at that moment because it doesn't necessarily summarise the career of every single young player. Another thing I've seen thrown around, which does have some relevance, to be fair, is that James Forrest has apparently been ahead in the, in the pecking order over at Celtic. Now, to understand this point, you have to look at the value of the players and what they're worth and what Brendan Rodgers is thinking. I'm almost certain, I'm pretty certain the Celtic fans would probably tell you the same thing. If Patrick Roberts wasn't on loan and leaving Celtic this summer, which he most likely definitely is, then he would be starting over James Forrest. Brendan Rodgers has been absolutely... Spot on, in my humble opinion, starting James Forrest in most weeks over Roberts. Now, at the start of his loan spell, Roberts was undisputedly the first choice. And I think most Celtic fans still want him to be the first choice winger there. But Rodgers has been cleverly looking after his own, so to speak. He's known that he isn't his player, Patrick Roberts. And he's been swapping around every now and then, uh, bringing Roberts off the bench. Also, Roberts has started plenty of games. But he's been giving James Forrest that experience, knowing that he is part of Celtic's future. And Forrest is a good little player. Roberts, though... He's better, in my humble opinion. I think Celtic fans would tell you the same. You only have to look at the adulation on Twitter amongst all their fans across all the message boards to know how much they love we Paddy Roberts, as they all say. I'm sorry I even just said that. What was I thinking? We Paddy Anyway, but yeah, they all love him there. And it's for a reason, because he's an exceptional young footballer. Rodgers has just been tactical there, preserving Celtic's future, giving Forrest the games he needs. But if Roberts was at Celtic permanently, I guarantee you he'd be starting ahead of Forrest pretty much every single week. 
Look, don't make any mistakes about it. This loan has been absolutely great for Patrick Roberts. I know for a fact that City wanted to send Roberts to Celtic for a few reasons. One, to help him become a man, to help him learn what it feels like to be kicked in football. That is something that you don't get in new football. He's definitely had that over in Scotland. He's definitely coming for some close attention. And two, to know what it feels like to actually win and be successful. Now, for a young winger, confidence, ability, self-belief, these are absolutely vital. A young player like Patrick Roberts, who enjoys that love from the crowd, enjoys feeling special, his value, his performance, his ability rockets when he feels loved, when he feels special, when he feels he can beat people. He has grown as a man, he's grown his self-belief, and he's experienced playing against parked buses, against teams that feel inferior to Celtic. He's experienced big atmospheres, big games. He's experienced Champions League football against Man City, nonetheless. He's experienced a lot there. He's grown as a player over the past 18 months. He's grown exponentially. He's definitely a different player. He's not the young man. that Well, he's still a young man. He's not the teenage boy that he was when he left City on loan. He's now a young man. And he looks a better player for it. He's learned a lot there. There's a lot to be said for learning in a very similar environment in terms of Celtic, a successful team, the team there to be shot at, playing against defences every week. It's exactly the same as Manchester City. I'll be on a maybe smaller scale in terms of world exposure, but it's the same situation. Celtic are a perfect club for that kind of stuff. Brendan Rodgers... Regardless of what you think about him, his teams play good football. The Celtic fans are incredibly loyal, incredibly passionate, and he's experienced a lot that he wouldn't experience at 90% of the teams in the world. It's been an absolutely great loan for Vachi Roberts, and in my opinion, he's a vastly better player than when he left. I just believe at some point these loans have to show for something. All these loans, all these junctures that we send out there, uh, you look at the loan of Jason Denier when he came back from Celtic, that should have been his moment. He should have been his moment to prove to get a chance. He was full of confidence. He looked like he'd take on the world. He was being tipped as world class by the Belgian, potentially world class by the Belgian manager. He'd single handedly almost kept into Milan at bay against 10, 10 men for Celtic. He'd been absolutely brilliant alongside Van Dijk all season. And then we shift him off on loan again. And then again. And eventually Bobby will be again. We can't keep doing this. At some point we have to say, if you're that good for your team alone, you are worthy of a shot. And Roberts could be that person. We've just seen Tosin Adarabayo allegedly sign a new contract to Manchester City. I don't want him to be stuck in the loan cycle. And if he is going to be in the loan cycle, I want him, someone like Roberts to show that there is a pathway for this to actually mean something. It's not that you're going to do really well on loan, and then that isn't enough. At some point, it has to be enough to get a chance. Why can't Patrick Roberts be that person? For me, it would be uh, symbolic of someone like Roberts who went away to Celtic for 18 months, grew up, became really loved, found his confidence, and then got shot at first-team football, even just as a squad play at Manchester City. That would be the shot in the arm that all these academy players need to prove that they can do the same if they are good enough. You look at the likes of Sancho, Foden, all these brilliant young players in the under-18s, Raheem Diaz, as Murich, they all need to see that this can happen. That if they agree to go on loan to NEC Breda and Twente and Celtic and wherever for the next two or three years, there is actually a route potentially back into the squad for them. Why can't Patrick Roberts be that person? He deserves it on his form. He is English, he is homegrown, he has all the ability in the world, and he's full of confidence. Now, in my opinion, this is the fork in the road for Patrick Roberts. He could go either way. A lot of people seem to think young players have this linear progression in their career as if that. They are going the same trajectory regardless and whatever happens on the way was just all part of that same trajectory. Whether it's that way or that way. That is not the case, obviously. Young players are human. They feel emotions. They are affected by the scenarios. And at some point, you can always trace a player's career back to one moment when it either went very right or very wrong. And in my opinion, this could be Roberts. Now, you've got a player here full of confidence, full of energy, full of self-belief. So what do you do? Do you give him that shot and maybe see him rocket and become the world star surrounded by great players? Or do you send him out alone to a championship side where he struggles in and out of the team? Or send him off to Holland? It could kill him. At the same time, if you make the right move, it could boost his career to a level that we don't even know yet. We have to prove that there is a route for the young players. And Patrick Roberts just seems to be the right player to me at the right time. You've got to look at the bench that we've had this season. The bench the other day when we had Fernando, two fullbacks, and Navas, who's been a fullback recently, it was just crying out for young, skillful talent. Why can't Roberts be that person? Why can't he be that energetic option off the bench? He has more, lots to his game, more than most would realise. He can pass, he can dribble, he's creative, he's a goal scorer. That's something we've lacked a lot this season. 
Pep would tell you we've not been clinical. Roberts can finish. He can score a lot of goals. And he's got self-belief. He's got that little zest that gets fans off their feet, gets them going. And players like him are invaluable. Roberts is a fantastic young footballer at a crossroads in his career now. He needs a chance at Manchester City. I think he deserves it. And I hope he gets it because... He's that good, in my opinion. Yes, it is only a poor league in Scotland, but the boy has plenty of talent. I think he deserves a chance anyway. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope you want to see more like this. If you do, let me know in the comments. I think Roberts deserves a shot. I think he's earned it. If you haven't already, do subscribe, drop a like on this video and get in the comments, and I will see you soon.